We visited a lot of great restaurants in 2022, all throughout Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. There are so many talented chefs. Let's take a look. If you're looking for some awesome handcrafted Polish fusion food, it's right here in the Crooked Forest food truck, right, Sarah? Yeah, yeah, this is where you can find it. So we do everything from scratch. We do different like classic Polish food, but mm -hmm. we also do fusion food. So we do different things like Polish nachos. We do oh different like Polish toppings for pierogies instead of just your classic yeah. butter and onions. Love um, it. Chef, what are we preparing today? We're preparing one of our famous Coach Franklin hoagies. Oh, fun. For starters, we have a generous portion of steak meat that we will sear off and cook. And with that, we have a little dash of Worcestershire. Ooh, that sounds good. That is a generous portion, though, I must say. Everything's big at Happy Valley. <laughs> I love it. Wait, what's that there? That's our own blend of seasonings that we okay. put on to season all of our steak meat. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to note that everything here, what it really makes it special is that you make everything like handcrafted here. Yes, we do. Everything that we make, from our mozzarella logs, our mac and cheese balls, our nacho chips, everything we make bread in house. So what exactly is like the crumb mixture? The crumb is our donuts that we do not use. So we crushed them all up mm -hmm. and then we have a recipe for that we mix together with it with cinnamon and sugar oh, and whatnot. Oh, interesting, okay. Yeah, and then we grind it all up and then we bake it. Oh, wow. Yeah, so then once it's baked, then it becomes this texture and then we can just with the glaze, it just sticks right on top. Excellent. So they're not done here with the crumb, right? Nope, we have a vanilla drizzle that we put on top. It kind of just gives it a little extra taste. Yeah. So all our donuts are cake donuts right mm -hmm. now, and we just put different toppings on them. So we have a plain glaze, we have a chocolate frosted, a vanilla frosted with sprinkles, a strawberry frosted with sprinkles, our coffee cake, and we have a donut of the day every single day. We have a specialty donut that we make. Excellent. What's the most popular dish here? Um, I would say our soup, um, which is our pho, and it's simmered for a very, very long time, and there's a lot of steps. I can um, imagine. Yeah, it's a very traditional Vietnamese dish that's based off of like the noodles, and then there's normally beef and cilantro, spring onions, Ooh, raw nice. onions. Yeah. Lots goes into it. It's one mm -hmm. of those like love soups that take forever. It, yes, it is. Um, we simmer. Ours for at least 10 hours oh, minimum. Wow. And if you see the big pot, yes. um, that's just freshly made uh, beef soup. Yeah, that's something that you don't want to make a small pot of. Exactly. It for 10 hours. Uh -huh. And that's about perfect for um, the meat. Perfect. You want it a little bit golden and mm -hmm. well, brown and crispy. Yeah. So what's next, Jamie? So you're gonna wanna boil some um, rice noodles. Typically, this is the one that we use, but they come in a lot smaller packs. This is for good for commercial use. <laughs> right. Um, but it's any type of rice noodle will work. Um, we prefer the thin um, stick ones. Yeah, these sandwiches are loaded, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they're very large. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna add in our hot Cheeto crumbles. And then we'll add in our buffalo fried chicken. So this is called the 257, and your whole menu is Alice in Wonderland themed, of course. Yeah, they're all named after the characters. So we have like Tweedledee, Tweedledum, the Griffin, yeah. Frog Footman. <laughs> we take like the background characters and give them a front scene. I so. love it. And we're just gonna add our ranch. This is the full size? This is portion. a half size. Oh, portion. this is a half. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, a full size portion will be two of these. Oh, that's great. And now that that's all put together, we'll put it on the panini press. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then we're gonna do del cotta. Now this one is fun. It's a squash that you can eat the skin. So it's this guy is what it looks oh, like before it's okay. cooked. And what I like to do with these is I stick them in the oven whole for like 15 minutes at 350 and then they're not so hard to cut. And I yes. do that with all my squash, butter okay. nut, pumpkin, whatever, spaghetti, just because then I'm not killing my arm as I'm trying to cut it. Right. So once it's soft, I then cut it up, take the seeds out, all of that good stuff. And then I coat it with more olive oil and stick it back in at like 400 for 10, 12 minutes, just to get the nice golden color. They're actually, color. they're beautiful, aren't they? They, they are look fun. good. They are fun. 
Now it comes out of this point here. We're gonna be able to shred it, nice and tender. Ah, looks so. Nice it looks so shredded. juicy yep. too. Very juicy. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. We'll shred it together because it has dark and light meat, so you yeah. want to get a good combination of the both. We're going here. We'll break this up a little bit more. I mean, talk about getting a nice fresh sandwich. Yes. Right. Yes. From this point here, we'll transfer it to the bun. We get the buns from our supplier. They're a ciabatta roll, so we place it on the grill. We toast it up nice. Nice. So now we got the pork in here. It's all okay. shredded up. So we'll do is add barbecue sauce. Delish. A little bit of that. Okay. Mix it together. Mm-hmm. So it's all coated. I like a nice hearty bun too. Yeah, this holds up well to the pork. Yeah. You know, it's a very dense, it's a soft roll, but it's dense. Yeah. And it holds up well to the barbecue sauce and the pork. So we pile this up That's nice good. and high. And then we'll dress this with a little more barbecue. And then we'll take our homemade coleslaw. We grind up the cabbage. Oh, nice. You make yeah. that in-house, too. Yep, we awesome. make that in-house. This will go right over the top. Oh, my gosh. That's fantastic. We'll be back with more of Home and Backyard's Look Back at 2022.